Uh, uh, Blessed Mother's Day. We know that this is a day of both joy and sometimes sorrow, depending on where you're at in life. But uh, we give thanks that all of you are here this morning with us. We have a lot of announcements this morning, and I feel very echoey. Not, I'll just keep talking. Um, we have lots of announcements, so I'm going to highlight some of them, but then remind you all to make sure um, to go through your uh, bulletin later on after the service. Um, so today is Choir Sunday, so we give thanks to our choir um, who will be providing us with many musical messages today. And we also want to recognize that Dee Anderson has been a part of the choir for 55 years and is going to be retiring at the end of this or at the end of today. So let's recognize Dee. Between services, you all are welcome to our coffee time and also to our work party fun party. So we are getting ready for v VBS and we have lots of different projects that will be happening. So we would love your help getting ready with some of those. And the good news is you can bring them with to your coffee table. So you can still have that time of socialization and help us get ready for our VBS. And we would be very grateful if you would assist us. Um, and and this will be happening this week and next week mm -hmm. if we need. So, um, but thank you for your willingness to help. Next Saturday, there's an insert in your bulletin about our All God's Daughter brunch that'll be happening. Um, so all women and friends are invited, um, and it begins at 9.30, and Audrey Erdman will be talking about what it's like to be a woman in Tanzania. Um, there are several connection events that are coming up in the next month. Uh, we're looking to go to the Mercy Me concert, so they are a band, um, and they're going to be performing in Moorhead. So there's details about how to get tickets and how to join the carpool. Our Stephen Ministry program is looking to begin a neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor program, which is through the Lutheran Social Services of Minnesota. So it works on partnering some aging adults who need a little bit of help and friendship, um, and it connects some other adults who are willing to provide that care for them. So if you're interested in either um, being a friend or as someone who needs a little bit of care, there are details in your bulletin about that. When we got our new photo directory at the end of this last year, one of the neat things about it is that we can be continually updating it. Um, so we just need 15 families um, to get the Life Touch folks back to Calvary. So if either you missed your chance to take a photo or you've had a change in your family, I know we have baby Charlie, which we should get into our photo now, um, or if you are a newer family to Calvary and so you weren't around for the last go-round of photos, um, you all are welcome to our next session. And there's two possible dates and there's information about how to get connected with that in your bulletin. Uh, with that, I uh, invite you to rise for our call to worship. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise God for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. O God of majesty, whom saints and angels delight to worship, pour out your spirit on your servants, who with the gifts of music enliven our praises and proclaim your word with power. Through this ministry, give us new awareness of your beauty and grace, and join our voices with all the choirs of heaven, both now and forever, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The congregation may be seated.
home beloved is where we begin. If you would enter into the wilderness, do not begin without a blessing. Do not leave without hearing who you are. Beloved, named by the one who has traveled this path before you. Do not go without letting it echo in your ears. And if you find it is hard to let it into your heart, do not despair. This is what this journey is for. I cannot promise this blessing will free you from danger, from fear, from hunger or thirst, from the scorching of sun or the fall of the night. But I can tell you that on this path, there will be help. I can tell you that on this way, there will be rest. I can tell you that you will know the strange graces that come to our aid only on a road such as this, that fly to meet us bearing comfort and strength, that come alongside us for no other cause than to lean themselves toward our ear and with their curious insistence whisper our name, Beloved, Beloved, Beloved.
A reading from Matthew chapter 16. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will it give them in return for their life? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. John 20. But Mary stood outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. 
Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go and tell my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although, although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
on the two uh, poems or blessings that we have today. Jan Richardson is a, a, a Christian who's part of the United Methodist Church, and she and her late husband uh, ran a retreat place, um, and she was obviously very impacted by her husband's death. So she has many beautiful blessings and poems, not only for the joyous times in life, but also for moments of grief. Um, she has many books, and these are also all available online. Um, so I would commend Jan Richardson to all of you. So here's a blessing that she wrote for the Easter season. You had not imagined that something so empty could fill you to overflowing. And now you carry the knowledge like an awful treasure or like a child that roots itself beneath your heart. <coughs> How the emptiness will bear, bear forth a new world that you cannot fathom, but on whose edge you stand. So why do you linger? You have seen, and so you are already blessed. You have been seen, and so you are the blessing. There is no other word you need. There is simply to go and tell. There is simply to begin. Thank you. 
Let's thank our choir and our bell choir one more time for their ministry to us this, this year. And we'll continue with the offering. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth. Day by day you shower us with blessings. As you have raised us to new life in Christ, give us glad and generous hearts, ready to praise you and to respond to those in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 
In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So taste and see that the Lord is good. Our Lord's table has been prepared and all are welcome. If you'd please be seated. I'd like to remind everyone that as we receive communion this morning, it will be in tension and you'll be receiving the elements right here at the baptismal font.
you please stand if you're able. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. Life-giving God, in the mystery of Christ's resurrection, you sent light to conquer darkness, water to give new life, and the bread of life to nourish your people. Send us forth as witnesses to your Son's resurrection, that we may show your glory to all the world through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.